Welcome to Trophy TV. Being asked by Jack at Talk Norwich to do a combined Everton and Norwich 11. Uh, so I'm going to try and give a balanced team here um, and see whether you agree. So in goal for me, I'm going to have John Ruddy, uh, ex-Everton goalkeeper, remember? Um, a little bit better than Tim Howard, who is having an absolute nightmare for us at the moment. So therefore, my goalkeeper will be John Ruddy. Uh, I'm going to play a 4-5-1, four, well, four, basically, but an attacking 4-3-3. Three, three. That's what I'm playing. Uh, right back, Seamus Coleman. I think still for me, uh, Seamus is probably up there with the top three right backs in the Premier League. Sets lots of goals up, gets up and down that line. Uh, really, really good athlete, um, good on the ball. So Seamus Coleman at right back for me. I think that's be an easy choice for me. Um, left back, this is a tough one because I think Leighton Baines would get in normally, but he's not played this season, being injured. Uh, Norwich, I like the kid Olsen, but... He's a bit hot and cold. Um, I know Chris Martin's been in there. Whitaker's played there. But I'm going to go for... Might be a little bit biased, but I've been really impressed with young Brendan Galloway at Everton. Uh, he's only 19. He's come in, filled in for Baines and hasn't looked out of place. Another good athlete. Uh, so he's going to play left-back for me. Uh, John Stones, centre-half. I don't think there's many better centre halves around he's a, he's only 21 years of age you know bids coming in of ex, in excess of 35 million for him in the summer from Chelsea uh, gladly we were able to keep hold of him I think he's going to be the England centre back for the next 10 years so John Stones is one of them and I, because he's a partnership I'm going to put him with, alongside Phil Jagielka because I still think Jagielka is an excellent defender he's had a little bit of a mare the last couple of weeks um, and he is actually now injured so but he would get in a combined 11. I think the, the only other one for Norwich who, who would have caused a, a threat was maybe Bassong, uh, who possibly there's a shout for him to go in alongside Stones. But for the, for the purpose of this video, and it is from an Everton perspective, I'm going to have Phil Jagielka. Uh, on the right side of midfield, I'm going to have Nathan Redmond. Been very, very impressed with Redmond. Was impressed with him at Birmingham. Uh, Everton were linked with him when he went to Norwich. I would have liked him to have come to Goodison. I've been impressed with him for Norwich. I think he's excellent. Um, I think he scored in the playoff final last year for Norwich as well. I think I don't know whether he got both of them and when he beat Middlesbrough. But I've been impressed with him. He's, he's good pace about him. Can get past players. Can play on either flank. He's got a goal in him as well. Uh, and he's a player who I'd certainly have in an Everton squad. And he's in my combined eleven on the right. At the middle of midfield, I'm going to have James McCarthy for his all-round ability in terms of breaking stuff up. I think he's a really good athlete, McCarthy. The criticism of James is that he doesn't shoot enough, he doesn't get forward enough and into that box, which I think he probably has got in his game, but he's going to go in there alongside another competitor, which is Teddy from Norwich. I think he's a, he's got a good shot on him. I remember him scoring a worldie a couple of seasons ago uh, outside the box, but he gets likes to get stuck in, likes to have a little bit of a mix. Uh, so I think him and McCarthy would be quite strong in the centre of the park. Uh, and out on the left... It's a problem area for, for Everton. Um, there's players like Kevin Morales who can play there. Stephen Pienaar who is, is injury prone now sadly. Tom cleverly has gone out there. But I wanted someone who can create chances and um, get up and down and work hard. So I've gone for Wes Hulahan who has already got five assists this season. I think he's a good little footballer. I like him. He uh, can come in off either flank. But I would put him out on that left hand side in my combined 11. And then just ahead of McCarthy and Teddy, I've got Ross Barkley in there. I think Ross is one of the most exciting young English players around. I think he's got everything in his locker. He can uh, he can shoot with both feet. He can get up and down the pitch. Um, he's got great skill. He's good at running at people. So Ross Barkley gets in. And ahead of Ross, I've gone for Romelu Lukaku, who scores goals, really. Uh, criticisms are wrong this is control and his hold up play isn't great but if you give him a chance he will score goals and I think with Houlihan and Redmond on the flanks creating chances I think Lukaku will uh, do some damage especially with Barkley just behind him so that's my combined 11 uh, Everton and Norwich yeah it might be a little bit Everton heavy I'm sure some of my mates will be asking why Delafeu and people like that aren't in this 11 um, but trying to give it a little bit of balance as much as I can as a from the blue half. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. 
If you like Everton, if you're an Everton fan watching it, subscribe to our channel. If you're a Norwich fan watching it, subscribe to Jack's Talk Norwich. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if I've been right or wrong with the, the comments in the comments section below. But this is Baz from Toffee TV with my combined 11. See you next time.